Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of triangles. This is standard 6.8a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 25 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have four different sets of angle measures, and only one of them cannot be the angle measures of a triangle. So what does that mean, the angle measures? Well, what we're doing is for any triangle, if you add up the sum of the angles, so you've got three angles in any triangle, three sides, three angles. If you add this plus this plus this, you're always going to get to a specific number. And if you can't remember what that number is, an easy way to remember it is to draw a square or a rectangle, a trapezoid, any quadrilateral, because most of us remember that we have right angles or square corners in our rectangles here. And most of us can remember that each of those are 90 degrees. So that's the first angle measure where we're introduced to is 90 degrees. That's perpendicular lines, straight up, straight across. Well, if you add up those four, guess what you get? Every quadrilateral, every four-sided shape has a sum of 360 degrees. So that's the angle measures of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. How that helps us is if you take any quadrilateral like that, draw a diagonal line, guess what you get? Two triangles. It could be a long rectangle like this. You would still get two triangles, even if you did a trapezoid or even a parallelogram, whatever it is. They'd be strange looking triangles, but you would get two triangles, which means you can take your 360, and you can cut it in half. And that is how you remember the measure of the angles in the triangle, 180. So all of these triangles have a measure of 180. They're all obviously different triangles. Some are right triangles, some are scalene, some are even isosceles. They're all 180. So all we're having to do here is to add these three things up. Let's start with A, 60, 60, and 61, and find the one that does not equal 180. And we're going to find it right away. Look at that, 181. So pretty sure that's my answer, because you cannot have a triangle with 181 degrees. Let's just double check. We've got 1, 1, and 178. That would be a really strange triangle. It almost looked like a flat line, but it wouldn't quite be a flat line. B is okay. We got some decimals here, and C, 13.9. We got 16.1, and then we've got 150. Now here's the tricky part. Watch what a common mistake might be. See if you catch my mistake before I figure it out. So that's going to be six. That's 12. That's 17. And look at that. Wow. 47 degrees, you might think C is right, but I didn't line that up, did I? That's the trick in this problem, is you're looking at that, and you have to line up the decimals exactly. So 150 goes over here. There is no decimal in 150, so you put it after the ones place. So you can just put a decimal. If you don't like that blank spot, you can just have, you know, decimal zero, line things up now. Let's bring that down here where you got 10. So that's good. We want a zero in the tenths place. And we've got one and three is four, and that's six. That's another zero in the ones place. So one, two, three, that's eight. So there we go. So C is actually correct, but if we do it incorrectly, I can see how some students might choose C. And let's just double check on D, but D is probably fine. 59. 60, 61, and that is going to be 180. So our answer is going to be A. Quick way to check this is an equilateral triangle. It has all equal. It's got 60, 60, 60. And some of you mentally might have thought, well, if you take one away from here and add it up here, guess what you get? 60, 60, 60. But either way, our answer is A, 60, 60, and 61.